Close your eyes and watch your breath. Breathe deeply all the way in, all the way out. And as long as deep breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. You're trying to provide a comfortable place for the mind to stay here in the present moment. Because when the mind is at its ease, it's more willing to look at itself and see where it's causing itself some, any unnecessary suffering, and causing unnecessary suffering for the people around you. This is a way of showing goodwill for yourself and for others. Goodwill is an attitude that wishes for everyone to find true happiness, realizing that's one area where there doesn't have to be any competition. With the happiness of the world, the pleasures of the world, there's got to be competition. There's not enough to go around. As the Buddha said, even if it rained gold coins, it wouldn't be enough for one person's desires for sensual pleasures. But our true happiness that comes from within, that's something that everybody can develop, and it doesn't take anything away from anyone else. That's where you want to focus your efforts. And so we're going to have goodwill for everybody. This means not just thinking that maybe they'd be happy as they are, because you have to realize happiness comes from actions, it comes from skillful actions, suffering comes from unskillful actions. So you're wishing that people would act in skillful ways. Of course, that includes yourself, because you're extending goodwill to all beings, not because you think they deserve it, but because you need it. If there are people out there whose happiness you're not concerned for, you're going to treat them in, in shoddy ways, and that, that becomes your own bad karma, it comes back at you. So you treat them well, for your own sake, in what you do, what you say, what you think. Show some care. There's a Pali term, otapa, which is hard to translate. It's something between concern, care, conscience, compunction. But you realize that your actions are going to have an impact on other beings, and they're going to have an impact on you, too. And you decide that you care. You want to make sure it's a good impact. Some people get apathetic. They say, well, it doesn't really matter. There's nothing I can do. The Buddha was not a nothing-I-can-do kind of person. Wherever there was any suffering in his heart, he did something about it. Then there's a callous attitude, which is, I don't care about other people, I'm just going to do what I want. That too the Buddha was not in favor of. Because as he saw, it just spreads the suffering around and it comes back at you. As he said, it runs after you and catches you even as you run away. So have some compunction. Think about the consequences of your actions. And show some goodwill for yourself, for the people around you. That way the way we burden ourselves with unnecessary suffering can get lifted. Because it only stands to reason. Why, when you want happiness, do you cause unnecessary suffering? Well, it's out of ignorance. You're not really paying careful attention to what you're doing or the consequences of your actions. But you remember that your actions have consequences. You want to care. You want to avoid doing anything that's going to cause harm and do whatever you can, what's in your power. But at the very least, help yourself, help others when you have the opportunity, when you have the strength. But you always use goodwill to restrain yourself from doing things that will have bad consequences. So when we think in these ways, when we have this quality of compunction combined with goodwill, we can live with other people. Other people can live with us, and we can live in peace. looking for happiness where we should, which is inside. <laughs>